Hey guys, it's BB coming at you here again from BB Vape Reviews. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Lost Vape Orion and the Lost Vape Orion Q. We're going to kind of give it the pluses and minuses and run down. I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So stick around. I think it's going to be a fun one, guys. All right, guys, let's get all close and personal with these and see what it's all about. Let's start out with the, the Orion DNA, right? So the Orion DNA has the DNA Go uh, the DNA Go chip in it. And um, let's open it up and see what's in the box. Of course, you're going to get you're gonna get your directions, right? It tells you how to prime the coil. It tells you things like that. It tells you how long to let it break in. Uh, it gives you some e-liquid recommendations and things like that. So you got that. And then you're also going to have the user manual. Now, in here it's going to tell you all about how to put the, the pods in. It's going to tell you what the different lights on the front of it mean, um, some different uh, warranty information, um, some stuff that's not covered under the warranty, some things like that, just a bunch of stuff you can look through. I do recommend reading that. It is kind of important. So let's get into this, guys. So let's pull this out. The DNA Orion. Look at that. I love the color on this one. And there is a bunch of different colors, guys. There's a whole bunch of different colors you can choose from. This is just one I particularly liked for, for uh, this review, so I took this one. So you get the device, obviously. You're also going to get your, uh, your charging cable. Now, in this particular one, since it is the DNA, um, the charging cable also doubles as your, uh, well, you plug into your computer for your firmware update to go onto the eScribe site to change all those settings and do those kind of things if you want to, guys. That's, that's where you can use that cable for, too. Now, it does come with, this is kind of cool. Um, it comes with a nice lanyard, um, a decent locking lanyard. I love it. And this is the piece that goes over the top of this. Now, I do recommend, if you're going to put this on, put this on before the pod, guys. It's so much easier to get on. But it just kind of slides over the outside like this and uh and fastens in just just kind of like that right i just like to leave it set right about there straighten it up a little bit the lanyard will hook there and then your pot will go on top but that way it's kind of out of the way of any of the buttons or anything like that so this is the orion dna now let's take a look at what's inside the orion q inside the orion q again you're going to get the user manual Tells you all the good stuff about it, guys, right? Gives you the product overview, how to fill it, how to refill it, basic operations, all that kind of good stuff's in the user manual. You're going to get the uh, the warranty registration card. Unfortunately, inside of here, guys, it doesn't tell you about the warranty. It doesn't tell you how long the warranty is or or, or what's, what's uh, if it's three months, six months. I mean, how long is the warranty? Unfortunately, it does not tell you that in there. And then here it's giving you a little warning. Um... It says, uh, see, after, do not inhale immediately after full filling of the pod. Let it set for five minutes so the organic cotton can be completely saturated. So, guys, this is definitely telling you to let this set for five minutes before you start vaping on it. So, this is the Orion Q, guys, right? Isn't that a pretty little thing? Now, this one I got was the blue, um, a little bit different than the original Orion, but I like this one, the Orion Q. And it also comes with... The USB charging cable. Now, this one, unlike the DNA, the Orion Q cannot be hooked up and have have anything changed with on the computer. So this is strictly for charging, guys. There is no firmware updates or anything you can do with this one. So you do, but you do have the charging cable along with it, and you also get the lanyard and the little adapter to put on the lanyard. So a lot of the same stuff come with it. Now I want to pull these out here, move these boxes out of the way real quick. I want you to see the size, guys. This is the Orion DNA Go, and this is the Orion Q, right? Very little size difference at all, guys. If you put them right next to each other, size-wise, almost identical. The way to tell the difference is a couple of things. On the Lost Vape DNA Go, you're going to have this little button right here, guys. This little button where this one has the charging port, right? The buttons are in the same place, got the same release right here this thing you can tell is where you charge it at guys this one's here where this one has another button you can push which we'll get into here in a minute this one has the charging port on the bottom so you're going to pull it out like this and it's going to charge right in there right so this one's on the bottom of the device and it's kind of covered and another way to kind of tell if you're looking at it you're going to have this one's going to say orion 
right on the front there. Hopefully you can see that. Well, this one says Orion Q. Let's talk about the, the pod system for these. Um, with the with the Orion DNA, you're going to have two of them here to choose from. So you're going to have, and I don't know if this is going to show up for you, but on the bottom of these, you're going to see where it's going to say Lost Vape, and this one is a stainless steel 0.25 ohm resistance, okay? Then the other pod that's available for this one is, is the, the Lost Vape Orion stainless steel 0.5. So you have a 0.25 and you have the 0.5 available for this one, guys. Now, the 0.25, they recommend for a direct lung vape. Go straight to your lungs, right? And the 0.50, they kind of recommend for a mouth-to-lung vape. But, guys, that's going to be completely up to you which way you want to go with that. So, on the top of here, you do have an airflow adjustment. So, you can either make that really tight for those mouth-to-lung hits, or you can go wide open for the, for the direct-to-lung vape. But you can use either one of those for that. Now, you can also use salt nick. In either one or you can use you know just regular nicotine in there as well um, the free base nicotine they do recommend the free base for the 0.25 and the salt nick for the 0.5 okay the way we fill these guys is super simple this top piece just screws off and I love this part of it guys right so the top piece screws off and it fills right inside of there right and then you simply screw this back on now the thing I love about that is um, a lot of pod based systems you got to pull the pod out guys and you have to fill it underneath it here there's like there's usually a couple little ports that you pull up and you fill it but that gives it a, a chance to leak i mean it could leak from that from that area down there where this one cannot it's it's completely enclosed down here the only thing you have on the bottom are your contact points here it does have a fixed 510 drip tip which uh, i like right so because when you're done with this pod you're just going to throw it away anyway so i really don't mind having that fixed drip tip on there I will tell you what they do recommend though, guys. These are two mil pods, both for this or the Orion Q, or they're both same size pods, the two mil, two mil capacity pods. But they claim 14 days on this on this pod, guys, before you have to change it. 14 days is what they're saying. So in the pod, they also say that one reef one fill is good for 500 puffs. Okay, so let's take a look at the Orion Q pod, right? It looks exactly the same. As a matter of fact, it is exactly the same size, which is one of the drawbacks I don't like about this. Because although that you can use the Q pod on the regular Orion, um, you have to go into eScribe and change that ohms readings because it will not read that 1.0. Uh, the regular the Orion Q is a 1.0 ohm coil, and it will not read that on the on the original Orion DNA unless you go into eScribe and change those settings. So it will not fit on there. Now you can put the 0.5 tank onto here, but we'll talk about that more in a minute because I don't know why you would want to. But that is one thing I don't like, guys. I wish that unless they were completely compatible with each other, they just would make them just a slightly different size so you don't mess those up because it, it does make a big difference if you put the wrong one on the wrong device. It's just not going to work properly. Let's get these filled up. So we're going to start with the Orion DNA Go. I'm just going to un unscrew the cap a little bit. Now this is the, uh, oh man, that thing is slickery as go. So this is the 0.5. So I am going to use 30 milligram salt nick inside of here. And all I'm going to do, hopefully I can show this on camera well, it just fits right in there and I'm going to fill it up. So I'm going to fill that all the way to the top, right? And then we're just going to go ahead and put cap back in it okay so there we got the 0.5 filled with the salt nick now I'm going to fill the 0.25 which is a free base 12 milligram nicotine and I'm also going to fill the 1.0 canthal pod for the Orion Q with the uh, the free base nicotine the 12 milligram these ought to be good and saturated by now so I want to kind of show you how this goes together um, you're going to take the pod and you're going to take the device. And as you can see on, on the inside of this pod are two little metal prongs. That's the same place you want these two to make contact. So those go in first. There's like a little lip there. There's a little shelf. We're going to put those right in. And then we're going to give this a push. Right, guys? It's going to snap right in there nice and solid. It feels really solid. No, no issues there. Now to take it out, it's just the opposite. You're going to pull down on this spring on the side, and it's going to pop right out of there, guys. So that's how that goes in and out. That's how that goes together. And when you're ready to change your pod um, sometime within that 14-day time period, that's all there is to it, guys. Pop it out, throw it away, put a new one in, and you're good to go.
Now the DNA works the exact same way, and that's that's why I say you got to be careful. Make sure you get the right pod in the right device because they will fit. They just will not work correctly in each other's device. So once again, stick it up like that, give it a push, and she's going to snap right into place. Pull that down to pull. Pull that down and pull it off the opposite of the way you put it on. It'll come right back apart. Talk about the batteries on these for just a second. They both are very similar um, devices, but I am going to go over some differences with you. They both have a 950 mAh battery. Um, for both of them, you're going to click the, the button five times, just like you would anything else. Let me see if I can get the light to show here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and that power is going to be on. Okay, guys? Now, same thing with this. Five clicks on, five clicks off, just like most devices you have. Now, the biggest difference you're going to have here is if you look, there is a light here above that button, right there above this button. This one's also going to have a light, but there is no button there. The reason for that is there is no adjustment on this, guys. It's a 950 mAh battery, as is this one. You're talking about an, a 45 minutes to an hour is what they say to charge it from completely dead to full charge. So that's pretty quick, guys. I have no complaints with that. That charges up really fast. Something else I do love about these is they are pass-through capable. So if you're sitting at your desk and you got these plugged in charging, you can hit it while it's charging. I absolutely love that about these devices. That's a big thing to me. If you click it twice, guys, it's going to show you your battery life and how much power you have left. So you'll want to I know that probably doesn't show up real good on here, guys, but it's going to go from light blue when it's fully, fully charged. That's 100% down to 95%. And then it's going to go to a green. Then it's going to go to a yellow and then a red. Now, when it gets to red, you're almost out of power, guys. But when it's flashing red, it's just going to shut off on you. It's going to be done. So like I said, you hit that button twice, and it'll show you where you're at. I'm in the green level right now. Now, another thing I love about this, guys, is even if you are... Let's say you're down in the yellow or the red. You're still going to get that consistent vape. It's not going to change. Both that one and the Orion Q have a consistent vape through the entire battery life, guys. So it's not going to, you're not going to feel a weaker vape when it's down in the red than you do when it's up in the blue or the green. It's going to be a consistent vape all the way through. And the Orion DNA will self-detect which pod you put on here, whether it's the 0.5, whether it's the 0.25. Okay, guys, so once it detects which pod you have on here, that's going to determine what these lights mean down here. So if you click it once, it's going to be white. So white with the 0.25 is the low setting, guys. That's going to run about 11 watts. Now, if you have the 0.05 coil in there, the white is the low at 8 watts. So you, it's going to self-read that and, and adjust that as it needs to be. Now, if you hit it again, it's going to change to blue. Now, the blue light for the 0.25 is going to be roughly around 13 watts. And for the 0.05 coil, that's going to run around 10 watts, and it's going to self-adjust for that. You got one more, which is the high. The red color is the high. So on the 0.25, that red's going to run about 15 watts, guys. And on the 0.05, it's going to run right around 11 watts. Now, as you can see on the Orion Q, there is no button down here to push, guys. So this is going to run a consistent 17 watts, no matter what you're doing. Like I said, once again, no, it doesn't matter whether it's a fresh battery or an almost dead battery. You are going to get 17 watts of consistent power out of this device in, through the entire life cycle of that battery. All right, let's talk a little bit about that replay mode button right here, guys. I love this feature on this device. This is absolutely amazing. So let's say you take a hit. You've got it set on, boy, I don't know. You've got it right in the middle on blue. So you've got medium heat, and you've got the .25 coil rolling. You take a hit, and it is the best hit you've ever had. What I love about this button, guys, is you simply hold that button down, and it will remember the last hit that you took. And it will do everything it can. And this, this chip is amazingly smart, guys. It will give you that same hit for the rest of that, that coil's life. Unless you change it, unless you hold it to get off of that mode again, which I think I'm covering up the light there. If you hold it to get off of that mode again, it will forget your favorite mode. Or if you change pods, when you pull that pod off and put a new one on, it will forget as well. But until you do one of those two things, it will do whatever it can to make that hit, your very next hit, the same as the one you had before. And it will just keep doing that. And I love that feature, guys, because it uses a temperature control inside of here, that stainless steel coil. So let's say you're running low on juice, and it's not wicking as fast as it should. It will read that. It will notice that. And it will not let that cotton burn. Now, I imagine you could make it happen if you really, really tried. But it will sense that, that that cotton is getting dry. And it will lower that temperature just a little bit 
keep that from burning, but it will still give you the same type of hit, the same type of flavor you had on the last one. Amazingly smart chip, guys. It will do all the work for you. Very, very rarely, if you're on replay mode and you have this set, it will always do the same thing, and very, very, very rarely will you ever get a burnt coil. This is going to make the life of this coil inside of here doubled what it would be if you tried to do it on your own. All right, guys. So anyway, let's pull back out of here and let's do a vape on each of these. Just take a toke on each one of these and let's see. Uh, let's see how they work. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, guys. So we're all juiced up. We got the Orion and the Orion Q, and we're gonna vape them both and see 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 what we think of them. So let's start out. With uh, let's just go with the Orion Q to start with. I'm gonna turn it on. So five clicks on, we'll turn that on. You see the little light flash, and there's we're gonna give a toke. I'm gonna go full airflow on this one, all the way wide open, and let's just take a hit. This is the 1.0 coil at 17 watts consistent hit, guys. So let's see how she does. So that's a straight lung hit, guys. That's a direct lung hit. I gotta tell you, it hits pretty good. Now let's turn this down a little bit and let's try a mouth to lung. I'm gonna go about half on the airflow, make it just a little bit tighter draw. Let's try a mouth to lung on that. And it's a nice hit. It's not bad. It's 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 just like just about any other pod system out there. I wouldn't say that this is a whole lot better than any other ones, the Mi Pods, the, the Drop, any of those kind of stuff. You're going to have about the same kind of vape off of this as you do that. Yeah, about the same, but the only advantage is, guys, it's so easy to fill, right? You just pop this off, fill it up, put this back on, and it's good to go. So Orion Q, a, a very good device, about half the price of the Orion uh, DNA is half again as much. So. If you're if you're on a little bit of a budget, this would be the way to go, guys. Uh, you're going to get that consistent 17 watt hit. You're going to get the flavor. You're going to get everything you want out of a pod system at a, at a decent price and a, a really sturdy device. All right, so let's try the DNA. The DNA is fun, guys. I love this device. Right, so let's turn it on. All right, so we got it turned on. Now, I don't know if you can see us, but I'm going to push the button, and I'm going to start on the lowest power setting, which is white. I'm going to go wide open on that airflow, and we're going to do a straight, uh, straight direct lung hit. Feels the same as that one. So that, that to me, those two are almost identical on the low power setting with the wide open airflow direct lung hit. Yeah, almost identical, guys. I really don't feel much difference at all. So let's turn it up a little bit. Let's go to the next power setting. And to do that, we're just going to turn it on. We're going to go to the blue, which is the mid-range. Another direct lung hit. Okay, now you're starting to feel that warmth. Starting to heat that up, and man, the flavor is popping. So in that middle, that flavor pops really nice, and you can feel the difference in that, for sure, a different from there. So let's turn it up to the highest setting. Let's take that up to red, right? The high power setting. Take another toe. Oh, that's that's huge, guys. That hit is unbelievably, that's a sub-ohm hit all day long. So that's a direct lung hit at the highest power rating there is without hooking it up to the to the eScribe website. Oh, that's good. That is an amazing hit right there. So here's what I wanted to tell you. I love that hit, right? So let's say that was too hot. I go back down to the low. That's just not hot enough. So let's find my happy spot in the medium. Let's hit it. So I love it right there, guys. The medium is perfect. That was a perfect hit. <clears throat> and this is what I love about this device. So now we're going to hit that replay button. And it's going to remember. I'm going to hold it. And it's going to remember that last hit, guys. This is absolutely amazing to me. 
So no matter how dead that battery gets, it's going to hit the same way. No matter how low that juice gets, it's going to wick and go in there slower as it gets lower. That doesn't matter. It's going to sense that on that temperature control and it's going to tell that that coil is getting too hot and it's going to adjust, self adjust that wattage to give me the same hit I just got. It will not let that coil burn that cotton. That is just amazing how that just, it's consistent, it's the same hit. All right, now let's try something. I'm gonna do this back to back, like five hits, one after another, and I'm gonna see if I can get any burnt taste on this on that replay mode. That is just amazing me, guys. I absolutely love that replay feature on, on this one. All right, guys, pros and cons. Let's get started on that one because everything's got to have some, right, guys? So let's start with the Orion DNA Go, right? Let's see, let's see my pluses and cons. The size is amazing. I love how little this dude is for the power and the watts and the, the vape and the flavor. Everything that comes out of this is a plus for me, guys. I love the size of this. I absolutely love that it's a pass-through device. That doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but to me it's important. I set up my desk a lot, and I like to have this charging and using it at the same time. absolutely love the fact that it has a pass-through capability on this device. I also love that it has two different pods, guys, the .25 and the .5. You get two choices. How do you want to do that? And then you can also adjust the airflow. Do you want that a mouth to lung, or do you want that a straight, direct lung hit? I love that you can adjust that on these. Now, some of the bad, some of the negatives on this, guys, on the Orion, I will tell you I'm not a fan of where that charge port is. So the charge port and firmware up there, update port is right there on the bottom. you got to pull that thing off of there. And then when you're charging it, you have to lay it down, guys. I do not like that, that feature on this device. On the regular, on the Orion Q, it's right there in the front. You can leave it standing up. It's super easy to charge. This one's kind of a pain. The door is not the easiest thing to get on and off of there. A little finagling. But it will see it's not going back on straight right now. I gotta mess with that just a little bit, but there it goes. Not a fan of the way that the way that charges. I don't like the way that is at the bottom. So the Ryan Q, let's talk about that. Some of the pluses are the same as there is on the original Ryan. Um, I love the pod, I love the way it fills on the top, I love the way it snaps in here nice and solid. I absolutely love the way this one charges, guys. It's right there on the front. Absolutely love that. It's small, fits in your hand, has an adjustable airflow on the top. A lot of the things I love about this one, I also love about this one. The thing I do not like, guys, is the fact that these pods will interchange with each other. It's a complete waste. You don't want to put a canthal pod on the on the DNA device. It, it eliminates the whole idea of having that uh, temperature control to keep that coil from burning. If you put this on here, it, it doesn't do any good. Vice versa. If you put this on here, it doesn't do any good. So I, I wish they would have made them just a different size so that the two would, would not fit together. So you can't mix them up, can't get them wrong. Um, another thing I don't like about it, guys, you can burn that coil so easy without that DNA chip in there. You just gotta be careful. You treat it like a like a pod system. Don't vape this all day. Don't don't take hit after hit after hit. Take a couple of hits and put it away, guys. That's what the high salt looks for. Don't overdo that coil inside of here. You will burn that cotton. Do love that both of them run at a consistent wattage. They both have an amazing consistency when it comes to that power they do not die out guys i ran this one all the way down to the red just before it flashed and it hit just as good as it did when it was brand new so i love the consistency of both of these and i gotta say i am just a little bit disappointed that you have to use that e-scribe site to get the full capabilities out of this orion dna go it's it's pretty awesome right out of the box i'm not gonna lie i love it right but to get the full capabilities of this device, you're going to need to hook into the website and go to the eScribe and, 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 and pop this thing up to get everything it's capable of doing. I wish it would come out of the box like that. Why they don't make it that way, I don't know. Um, but that is a, definitely a negative drawback for me on this device. All right, guys. So that's the Orion DNA and the Orion Q. That's my reviews. That's my feelings. That's how I feel about it, guys. So please, if you feel differently than me, Give me a comment down below. Let me know why I'm wrong. Let me know why I'm right. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Take a second to subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, I appreciate you coming along, watching my video. And uh, until next time, this is BB out. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.